Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send Bitcoin Cash using your Bitcoin.com wallet. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to exchange your BTC, your Bitcoin, for Bitcoin Cash, which is BCH. The way to do that is to go to your Exodus desktop wallet to exchange BTC for BCH. So you will have to go to your portfolio to do this. If you have not yet downloaded the Exodus wallet or seen my previous tutorials on how to set up a Bitcoin.com wallet or an Exodus wallet, go ahead and watch those videos first before you jump into this. So what we're gonna do now is go to the exchange on Exodus, which is right here on the left. Go ahead and click that. And what we're gonna do now is on the right side, where it says receive, we're gonna choose Bitcoin Cash, which is right here in green. So there you go. To be clear, I already have Bitcoin in this account, so you will have to fund your account too. You'll have to send Bitcoin to this Exodus wallet. However, once you have Bitcoin in this wallet, you can then exchange it for Bitcoin Cash. In this video, I'm gonna convert $100 worth so I'll do $105 so that I receive exactly $100 worth of Bitcoin Cash. And to be clear, I have about $138 in Bitcoin and I'm only exchanging $105 out of that 138. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the exchange button here. So as you can see, it's sending Bitcoin to the exchange, which is the Shapeshift exchange. So great, it says your exchange is now in progress. In 60 minutes or less, your Bitcoin cash will arrive. You can safely use or quit Exodus while an exchange is in process. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go to Bitcoin Cash here and it's gonna show up in this wallet right here. The address that they're using is this one in this wallet and it automatically does that for you if you click receive here they would technically be using this address right here so we'll go ahead and be patient for that and wait for that to transact so go ahead and pause the video now and then continue the video once it's done exchanging for you okay great so it looks like it finally completed here's a quick tip if it's taking longer than expected, just exit out of your Exodus account and then restart it. And if you do that, it might show up sooner. The next step here is step number two, which is to send the Bitcoin cash to the Bitcoin.com wallet. And if you recall, it looks like this, Bitcoin.com wallet. So again, the step here is to send the Bitcoin cash to the Bitcoin.com wallet. And we do wanna make sure that we have the correct address. Since I'm doing it myself, I could just go to personal wallet here and it says BCH right here. So that's Bitcoin Cash. And we're just gonna click the receive button. And what we could do is copy and paste that just by clicking it. As you can see, it copies to the clipboard. And what we're gonna do next is go to Exodus again and click send under Bitcoin Cash and wallet. Go ahead and click send and copy and paste that address. And to be clear, we do wanna send a small test transaction first, and that could be around five or $6. So go ahead and enter the amount that you wanna send. And for this example, I'll choose $5. Before we send it, let's verify that this is the correct address by looking at the last six characters, which is KQTSYF. And if you look at my address here for Bitcoin.com, it says the same thing, KQTSYF. So great, this is the actual address. If you're not using another account of yours, you're gonna have to get this address from someone else and have them email it to you. But if you're sending it to another one of your accounts, you could just get the address yourself. So going back to the Exodus wallet here, we're gonna go ahead and click send. And it says, are you sure you want to send $5 of USD? I'll say yes, send. And the transaction is complete. 
Interesting enough, it did pop up right away on my Bitcoin.com wallet. So here it is. It says payment receive, $5 US. And if I click home here, it'll say that my personal wallet has $5 now. So that was fast. That's good to know. Okay, great. So the next step here is step number three, which is to verify the pending transaction on the Block Explorer. And the Block Explorer we're going to use for this video is bitcoincash.blockexplorer.com. Check out the display address here on the screen. And it looks like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see the transaction. We're going to click on it and we're actually going to click on this right here, this transaction. And it gives us the address right here to copy and paste. So it copied to the clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and paste that into here and click enter. And what you'll notice is one transaction is in here, which is the transaction that I just sent. However, it may take some time to send. So you might have to refresh this page until it finally shows up. So it looks like it's still confirming right now. So I'm going to go ahead and be patient for that. If we look back on the Bitcoin.com wallet here and click back, you'll see that it's still receiving right here. So it's sent, but it has to get confirmed. And we're just going to wait for all those confirmations. And I don't expect it to be long, but you could go ahead and pause the video here and come back to the video so that you could follow along with me still. So great, that's step number three, which is to verify the pending transaction. And we're just gonna wait until it confirms, which is step number four, to confirm the transaction is received. It looks like it finished confirming. And as you can see here, it says received. If I click this refresh button right here, it'll still say it's received, so that's good. We could still copy and paste this address and put it in the block explorer. And once you search that, you'll see the summary here, which is again, step number four, which is to confirm that the transaction is received. So without even looking at the account, you could check to confirm that it's received by checking on the block explorer here. And it says number of transactions, the amount sent, the total received. So that's good. There's one confirmation and it looks like it only needed one confirmation to verify. So that's good. If I go back on the Bitcoin.com and go back again, you'll see that it's right here. So perfect. Let's move on to step number five now, which is to send the rest of the Bitcoin cash to the Bitcoin.com wallet. So I'm going to have to go to Exodus here. And what I'm going to do is click send again under Bitcoin Cash, under Wallet. I'll click Send, and then I'll copy and paste that same address. So I'll go back to this wallet here, and I could click Receive, and I'll click this, which will copy it to the clipboard. And I'll go back here and paste this into here, and then I could click All, which is $95, and I'll just go ahead and click Send. Are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And if we go back to my Bitcoin.com, it receives it practically instantly. So if, if we go back to this wallet here and then click wallet, you'll see that it's receiving right now. And it's receiving the rest of the amount, which is $95. So great. We're going to go ahead and be patient for that too. While we're waiting, I do want to be clear that you do first want to verify that the recipient received the transaction. So what that means is if you're sending it to another person and not your account, you do want to verify from them that they received the test transaction and then have them email you saying, yes, I received it. And then you're going to go ahead and say, OK. And another note is that you could whitelist the address if needed. You could save that address so that you could send to it another time. So go ahead and whitelist the address if you need to. 
it looks like it just finished receiving and it sent the full amount. So if you look at my total balance now, I have $100.96 worth of Bitcoin cash. So let's move on to step number six here, which is to send the Bitcoin cash from your Bitcoin.com wallet to a Bitcoin cash address. And we do want to send a test transaction first and then send the rest. But I'll show you how you do this. So all you have to do is get an address and I'm going to get my address from my Exodus wallet. So instead of sending this time, I'm going to go ahead and click the receive button. And I'm just going to click the copy this address button right here. So I'll go ahead and go to Bitcoin.com wallet here. So what I'm going to do here is click my Bitcoin Cash wallet right here, my personal wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and click send right here. You're going to enter the Bitcoin Cash wallet right here. And then you're going to choose the amount. Again, I'm just going to choose a test transaction first. So I'll send $5 and I'm going to go ahead and click next. And it looks like it's calculating the fee right here. So it says it's going to be less than one cent. That's fine. And I could verify that this is the correct address by looking at the last four characters, which say XQ3Q. And if you look at my wallet right here, it says XQ3Q. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and click send to the $5 and then it says payment sent. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And if I look back in my address, my Exodus wallet under Bitcoin Cash, it says that it just received the $5 that I sent. So that was actually really fast when it goes from Bitcoin Cash to another Bitcoin Cash wallet. That was really fast. So that sent, that was the test transaction. So we're gonna go ahead and send the rest now. I'll click receive again and then copy the address. I'll go back here and click on my Bitcoin Cash personal wallet right here. And it says that there's $95 in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send. I'll put in the same address. So now what I'm gonna do is click use all available funds. So it's just gonna send the entire amount and it's calculating the fee right now. So I go, I'm gonna go ahead and click send now, and then it's sent. So that looks good. I'll click okay. And if I go back to my wallet now, there it is, the full $100 back in my account, sent from my Bitcoin.com wallet, specifically my Bitcoin Cash personal wallet. And that's how you send Bitcoin Cash using your Bitcoin.com wallet. So if we look back on the Bitcoin.com wallet now and look at how much money there is, how much crypto, there is zero because it sent the entire amount. So that's good. And as we can see on Exodus, the full amount is there. So that's great. In this video, I am not talking about how to receive back up, protect, or even update the wallet. I just wanted to show you how to send Bitcoin Cash using your Bitcoin.com wallet, specifically the Bitcoin Cash personal wallet. And that concludes my video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and you could get 10% off using my promo code DENNY2018. Go ahead and check out the display address here on the screen or check out the links below. You could also follow our team on Twitter. My social handle is Denny Lovejoy on Twitter. And thank you so much for watching this blockchain tutorial on how to send Bitcoin Cash using a Bitcoin.com wallet. If you have any suggestions for future videos, send them to me on Twitter. Thanks again. Have a terrific day and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.